All right, we're gonna be reaming up this valve body on a 6T70. This is a, a Gen 1, and it only has three actuator feed limit accumulators. The Gen 2 will have six. And uh, what happens is the Gen 1s don't seem to be quite as horrible as the Gen 2s, but they still wear out. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. This side here is pretty worn out and all three of them were the same way. Now I've seen, especially on the Gen 2s, where this side will, will be nice and tight. And when you get this down in there and you shove this up against here, this side will be worn out. I mean, really bad. And I've had quite a few of them that have done that. So on the Gen 3 or Gen 1, <clears throat> they're, they're wanting you to put these bolts in here. And here's our lineup plate. It says this side up. The toolkit is from Sonax. It's a T 124740 TL40. And then the accumulator kit is a, this is a WIT number, I believe. S334741-7K, Sonax number is 154740-01K. And you're gonna get uh, six of these, six or seven, one, two, four, five, seven of them in the kit. So we're gonna get going on this here. Put the bolts in here to line this up. Then you get a line up pin. And you're gonna put the pin in here. And you're gonna tighten these down. And you wanna make sure that once you get those tightened down that this pin will float in and out super easy. Now I may not be able to do this. I may need to bring this out to the end of the table and tighten this thing down and hold it to the table, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes here. We can get some cutting oil. Need our reamer. You're gonna wanna only turn it clockwise, never turn it counterclockwise. You're gonna wanna use plenty of lube. See if I can hold this down without too much trouble. You want to keep your rotations under 300 rounds a minute. You could use a, a slow drill on this if you wanted to. You're not going to want to undo the plate on here until you're sure that you've got all the way down to the bottom. Because once you undo it, you're not going to be able to line it back up. Let's see if my big fat belly will hold it. You should be able to feel once it bottoms out, it should start turning super free like it did just right there. You can give a little bit of downward pressure, but not too much. You don't want to be putting too much pressure on your reamer. All right, let me go wash this out. We'll move on to the next one. Okay, you don't have to move it off of those bolts, but you are gonna have to loosen it so that you can get it to line up with this other one. Put our jig in there. And put our pin in. And it turn in nice and free. too far. Make sure they're still nice and free, nice and tight.
All right, let me go wash this out. There, maybe you're right there. Still nice and free. Put some, some lube down in there. There we go. Right, let me go wash this up. Put our reamer up so we don't get it nicked. Put our guide pin up so it don't get nicked. Let's get our accumulators out and see how they fit. These are these are for the 8L90. Let's see what we got here. It's 8L90. These all 8L90. Yep. I guess I'm gonna have to wait for the. These are in the wrong box. I gotta get these in the right box. So I don't have any. Uh, 60, ones. I'm going to have to wait for them to show up and then we'll try them out in here. Let me put these in the 8L90 box where they're supposed to be. Okay, so we got them in. I lost a package that I took them out of. I don't, I'm not going to search for it. So obviously the number I gave you before for this is the wrong number. It's 124740-40K from Sonax. And you're going to get the new accumulators, they're oversized. And if you notice, we're a whole lot tighter. You need to make sure that these do travel up and down very freely. And then you get the new springs that have been calibrated to match the factory. And that's all there is to doing that. I got to get the plate out, uh, my bonded plate. I don't know if you saw well, I don't know if I even showed it I know I took a picture of it for the patreon side and you could see where the gasket was starting to come up so I put it in the solution to get the gasket off and I get that out and get that all cleaned up and we'll get that back on here there's a couple plastic uh, keepers that go in here to hold that on you don't have to have those uh, but it does keep it from falling apart when you're trying to put it together. Alright, we'll catch you on the next one.